na mishra amen oh my helper my helper my helper my helper oh i hear me 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 la nichra wa ake komi ena yewe ye mumomi i am you my jesus oh in ke i hear me 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 Anichrawa akekomi ena yewe yemu momi I am you my Jesus All right Amen Okay We we are grateful to the Lord, Amen. Yeah, yeah, the radiance. I will, baby, or dear, do. Very, very grateful unto the Lord. And unto Susan, what do you think? Yes, I need an interpreter. And you can do that great job for me, Amen. Yeah, so let's work. Reduce her microphone a bit so that her voice would not go above my right now, right now. Yeah, God bless you. Let's clap for her. Even as she comes into ministry, man. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. All right, we've been studying the word of God for some time now. Stand by me here. We've been studying the word of God for some time now. And we are learning very great things from the word of God. And uh, one of the main things we want to be talking about is how to allow the anointing of God to work for you and to change the people around you. The Holy Spirit or the anointing is the great helper that we are given. And this helper is supposed to help us to exercise dominion and to win in life. We have learned that the anointing is the person or the presence and the power of God. The anointing is actually the presence of God, that God is with you and his power is also with you. And then his power is with you. An anointed anointed man, therefore, or an anointed woman, therefore, has the power of God. And then God is also with you. And when God is with you and you have the power of God, you will be able to overcome all the evil that is in the world to hurt you. There is a lot of evil out there. And that evil seeks to hurt and to destroy us. But one of the things that can give us an edge or give us some dominion over that evil is the Holy Spirit or the anointing of God. 
Now we know that every believer must receive the anointing. Because we wrestle not against flesh and blood. If we say we are wrestling against principalities and powers. We are wrestling against rulers and spiritual wickedness. Rulers. That's what we are wrestling against. Yeah, that's what we are wrestling against. That is what we are wrestling against. And so we need the anointing and the Holy Spirit to be able to overcome and to win over them. Now, we have come to learn that it is God who anoints a man. A prophet may pour oil upon you. A prophet may speak the word of authority over you. As you came here for the Friday all night, as we spoke with authority and demons and sicknesses were living, we can only speak the word, but it is Jesus who heals and drive out the devils. And so it is God who really anoints, heal, and delivers a man. And so anytime that hands are laid on you look up to heaven and believe God that his power will come and liberate and fill you. We have also learned that the anointing does not make a man an instant success. So when a man is anointed that anointing is supposed to enable that man to step out and do what he or she has to do. So if you are a trader, the anointing is supposed to help you trade and be able to sell more. If you are a pastor and you are anointed and you don't step out for evangelism, your church will be empty. So The anointing doesn't necessarily bring people. God saves the world by the preaching of the gospel. That is where we are going out this Saturday at 11 a.m. to go and preach the gospel. Duba. We are stepping out to preach the gospel to one more soul for Jesus. And when we step out, we are going to preach the gospel with power. The anointing cannot save the world, but the gospel does. Because God saves the world by the preaching of the gospel of the good news. So, if we are anointed, we must step out and declare the word of God. If I don't declare the word of God right now to you, the anointing of my life cannot liberate it doesn't matter how much I'm anointed if I don't tell the sick be healed they would never be healed 
Ayarisa Emra also and I said, Ode Omoa, and Yadia Obenya na Ayarisa. If we don't declare to the oppressed, be loose, they will not be loose, even though we are anointed. Ya nkasa dia adie bi hya ne so no se adekroni emfi ne so aya mpae mu anka adekroni emfi ne so da So when the man of Gadara met Jesus Inti be man na no what Gadara ni hya Yesu no He ran he worshiped him but the man was not liberated until Jesus declared him liberated Okotu be obebu nkotoje wonanim nanso we nya ogie ekosi se Yesu Kristo pae mu ka se onya ogie the preaching of the gospel or the preaching of the word of God is so important for the healing and liberation of the world. When you read Acts chapter 10 verse 38, the Bible says that God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power. And he went about doing good. So the anointing did not do good. Jesus needed to go out and do the good. As we have come into the presence of God and as we have prayed, we have received the Holy Spirit, we have received power. But that spirit and power cannot bless the world unless we go out and do good. When we go out, we can do evil or do good. It is our choice to decide which one we want to do. When soldiers came to arrest Jesus, he said, I can call my father to send angels to kill all of you. But then he didn't call the father because at that time he wanted to do good. So as the Lord anoints you tonight even as you sit under the sound of my voice. As you step out, go and begin to do good to all those you meet. Jesus went about, he did good and healed all that were oppressed of the devil. For God was with him. He was anointed so he had the presence of God. So the anointing does not make a man an instant success. Unless that man steps out and begin to do what he or she ought to do. So as you step out tonight, may you do all that you have to do in the mighty name of Jesus. And anything in your life which the devil is holding ransom be liberated, even as you begin to do good in Jesus' name. The anointing of the Lord is already in this meeting and that anointing is coming upon you. Receive it. God anoints Jesus, anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And you see, when the Holy Spirit came upon Jesus, Though he didn't fall down, though he didn't rule, but he received power and went out to do good. But we have felt the touch of God. 
are falling down, we have rolled, we have received a physical manifestation that assures us that indeed God has touched us. So as we step out, let us step out in this full assurance and begin to do the good that we know how to do. And as we do the good that we have to do, God will guarantee our blessings and our successes and our breakthroughs. Now, the third thing we have learned about the anointing in this week is that the anointing is not synonymous with character. So the fact that the Holy Spirit came upon you does not mean that your character changes instantly. The anointing is the presence of God, but character is developed over time. You, you develop, you build. As we bear the fruit of the Spirit, then character begins to develop in us. So I pray for you tonight in the name of Jesus. That the Holy Spirit will begin to touch us in every area of our lives. That we shall not only be a people of power. But we shall also be a people of character. There are times when the desires of the flesh are so strong in us. There are times when we really want to fulfill the desires of this flesh. But I pray for grace for you and for the strength to be able to withstand and develop character as Christ did in the name of Jesus. May the flesh not crush your destiny whilst the anointing tries to build it up. May the Lord help us to develop character even as we build up in power in the mighty name of Jesus. The anointing is not synonymous with character. So you could find a very anointed man with a stinking character. That is why as you walk around and as you meet people and they are very anointed, it's still very important for you to be sure that their character also comes with the power that they manifest. But may the Lord help us to develop character that matches the power we are receiving day by day in the name of Jesus. And if we can be a people of character, then Ephesians chapter 4 verses 1 begins to give us the secrets of developing character whilst we are anointed by the Lord. Or say, I therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, beseech you by the mercies of the Lord to walk worthy of the vocation. I therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, I beseech you that you walk worthy of your vocation. Oh, glory to God. Tell somebody, walk worthy of the vocation wherein you are called. How do we walk worthy of the vocation wherein we are called? How can we be a people of character walking after the nature 
of Christ. How are you able to develop character after you are anointed? The apostle Paul is going to teach us the simple secrets of walking worthy of your calling. It is not enough to have devils casted out of you. You must also develop character. So tonight, every one of us will work worthy of the vocation of our calling in the mighty name of Jesus. How do we work worthy of that calling? We must be a people with all loneliness and meekness. Lowly and meekness we must be people of humility and people of meekness so my brother you are going on where with ye are called with all loneliness and meekness loneliness with all humility and meekness so there is no way you can really live a Christ like life except you are lowly in mind we think too highly and that is why we are unable to live the Christ like life our Lord Jesus Christ was a simple and a meek man he didn't live a sophisticated life he lived an ordinary simple everyday human being life he was not born in a palace he was born in a manger he did not grow up in a big city he grew up in Nazareth he did not clothe himself with purple and linen he clothed himself with simple clothes he did not preach in the beautiful temples of Jerusalem he preached in the marketplaces and by the riverside he did not buy a tomb where he would be buried if he was buried in a borrowed tomb he every one of us who can really live a simple and a meek life can live a Christ like life as young people if we decide not to wear clothes according to names or buy bags according to names or shoes according to names or smartphones according to names but just choose to live a simple life we will be able to live a Christ like life uh, say, with loneliness of mind and you don't need much to live a good life so he said we should live a lonely and a meek life if you really want to have character with the anointing don't think too highly of yourself and then the second secret to developing character after you are anointed is long suffering long suffering you see one of the biggest problem of the Christian faith today is that the cross and suffering is no longer being preached 
So the Christian does not understand how to suffer a little. We don't understand how to endure long suffering and that kind of patience where I'm not being treated fairly, but I'm still very patient and waiting that things will change. It's not in the language of the believer anymore. Nanse yenta anti nya mesama efa abojo chere hu ese mpo ye cheche se o utumi se asema ye di di editi ame enso nya she met na ho sa no ye nsheda anti anti ne christofo bebre enshada eni abojo chere sa and so if we want to have a life of Christ it is a opeso obo christo a bradia we must understand that many are the afflictions of the righteous but the lord would deliver him from them all um, if we want to live a life of character we must be able to admit and accept we must be able to admit and accept that things have not turned out the way I'm expecting yet but I'm patiently waiting until things turn out and we are not in a rush to make money even though we will prosper we are not in a rush to build houses even though we will build houses we are willing and ready to suffer as long as God deems it right we are submitted under the mighty hand of the Lord we are willing to suffer long because we know that all things will work together to the good of them that love the Lord and are called according to his purpose because we are called according to the purpose of the Lord say it is a necular Bible says If we shall have every good thing. We shall lack no good thing. We will begin to walk in perfection. So we must become a group of believers who are able to say that if it is the will of God that I suffer, I'm patient in my season of suffering because all things will turn out for my good. If you believe that, lift up your right hand and say amen to that. So did you say amen, pa? There are times when things are not going the way we expect them to go. But we are not giving up yet because we serve the living God. We have not got where we want to get to but we still say God is good because God is good am I preaching to somebody tonight the Lord is on your side and nothing will stop you so be patient under suffering in the name of Jesus I believe that as you are anointed and you develop character God will bring Bring everything you are looking for your way in the name of Jesus. The third secret to living the life of Christ is forbearing one another in love. Uh-huh. For bearing one another, Chiresa, would you know we wouldn't get perfect? And you be be a ra, make you just so be an away. Now, so may Tia see a say, a yet they are a and a me go swear your wedgeman, it will be sister. For bearing one another, Chiresa, you have not become all that I'm expecting you to be, neither are you doing all that I'm expecting you to do, but I'm patient with you because you are also patient with me. Sometimes when we come to church, we seem to be very intolerant 
towards one another. Mm-hmm. I want to live my life. I am trying to live the life of Christ. You will even understand others when they fall short of your measurement and standards for them. There is something you are expecting of me, but if you yourself have been living the Christian life the way you ought to live it, when somebody makes a mistake, it is very easy for you to tell the person, you have made a very silly mistake, but be careful next time. Am I preaching to you? This is how you live the life of Christ, forbearing one another in love. Judge not, lest you be judged. Are you getting the point? Whatsoever measure a man will measure out, will men give unto him. So one way to live the life of Christ is to forbear one another. An anointed person, a truly anointed person, has a forbearing nature. A woman was caught in adultery and brought to Jesus and said, we caught this woman in adultery. The laws of Moses said we should stone her to death. What do you also say? Then Jesus said, he who have not done anything this time should cast the first stone. And from the eldest to the least, they all went away. Say, yet your doye ya who said, ye bring up was a tonya but you cherry, I'm a yen miyan yati as ye say, ye two gentianas and humbo visia, and yen one was sadia. Then we'll be able to have the nature of Christ. We'll not kill one another. It was small for Paul say, we'll be better than a bonny bet channel. Miss me, dear channel free say, ye, 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 we are not ignorant of the devices of the enemy. Are you following what I'm preaching? The enemy has devices, and the issue is that as we will generate, the enemy has devices. If I don't learn to forbear with you, we intimidate him. If I don't learn to forbear with you, nobody will be left in the church. If you want the Christ character, we must learn to forbear one another in love. Forbear, let's say. That is what we mean by forbearing one another. And Rao Buame and Ye Ye Mame. What is some cotton and chinama benware botchina? Me won't say chemename bark or swaran the buame. If it's a bribi e chemun who be our bar Monday retreat no, a bribi e chemun on yes ye and kwasia fosa. And in yanko ponam nandu so e ye. We read that on Monday. Are you understanding the principle of forbearing one another? So loneliness of mind, long suffering, and forbearing one another in love. It's one of the secrets of developing character when you are anointed. Let's go to the fourth secret very quickly and now receive the anointing and begin to interpret now. In Jesus' name, say amen to that. Look at this. Endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. There is a certain unity in the spirit. As we have gathered now, we are the children of one man. We are the children of one church. If we want the anointing of God to continue to operate in the church, we must endeavor to keep the unity of the spirit. The spirit of the Lord does not operate in a church where there is division. So I may offend you, you may offend me, but let us endeavor. Endeavor means that it is not easy, it is not easy, it is difficult, but try. Endeavor means that try your best. Try all you can. Make it a purpose that you are going to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. Glory to God. I said glory to God. How many things have you learned about the anointing? Number one, it is God who anoints, isn't it? 
Number two, the anointing does not make you an instant success. You must go out and do what you have to do in the mind of the spirit, isn't it? Then number three, anointing is not synonymous with character. Character must be developed. And these are four simple secrets to developing the character of Christ. Amen and amen. Amen and amen. So can perform perform the reason why I'm asking for this the reason why I'm asking you to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace is because there is one body and there is one word spirit even as ye are called in one hope of your calling let's go on quickly one 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 so there is one body one spirit one hope one Lord one faith one baptism Oh, glory to God. One God and the Father of all, who is above all in all, working through all. Glory to God. Glory to God. Let's read on. But, we do our power. We say, we must say, ye wo nyame baku, um baku, super baku, jidye baku, or ye wo honam baku, ye wo nyame baku, or ti ye nyina ye mu, or buru ye nyina, or suno nam ye nyina ye su, e ye bribi, nansu, nansu, nansu. Ebana domni a chedia dia ya domni a chedia nyepe ubi wo bribi ubi ni bribi enunti e den yara just a yet nambum. Am I preaching to you? Look at this. He said, but to every one of us is given grace according to the measure of Christ. Let's go quickly to the measure of the gift of Christ. Glory to God. Verse eight. Look at this. Wherefore I say unto you, he that ascended is the same that descended and gave gifts unto men. Hallelujah, Hallelujah! But you are going to interpret it. You know, get ready. But you, take, you can take your seats for now. He that ascended is the same that ascended. Now, he that ascended, what is it? But that he also descended first. In the ascending page, before the anointing can lift you up, you must be ready to descend to the lower parts of life. Did we learn that too? Did we learn that the anointing does not always take you to the mountain, but anointing takes you to the low valleys, to the dark places. And so the he that ascended is the same that descended into the lower parts of the earth. And so if the anointing can lift you up, first of all, you must be willing to go down to the lower parts. And so the anointing will lift you, but before the anointing lifts you, the anointing will lead you to the lower parts of the earth to serve. You are going to serve at places that is not convenient. You are going to see the dirty sides of ministry. Am I preaching to someone? So as we step out Saturday and Opa for one more for Jesus, we are coming and we are descending to the lower parts of the earth. We are going to where the unbelievers are and we are going to declare God's word to them. Listen, I'm that river of life. A man drinks of this well and will never be hungry again. May the Holy Spirit begin to fill us right now. In the name of Jesus, receive it right now. I said, may the Holy Spirit begin to fill us right now. That you shall not be thirsty again. You will not be hungry again. The bread of life is coming upon you and filling your life right now. The joy of the Lord is returning to you. The peace of the Almighty is your portion. In the name of Jesus, the healing power of God is touching you right now. And I pray for you right now. High blood pressure, cancer cannot live in your body, diabetes cannot live in your body, no sickness is permitted to live in your body. I pray right now that the Lord begin to touch your whole body from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. In the name of Jesus. Receive it now. He ascended to the higher parts, but he first of all descended to the lower parts. Not every descent is a demotion. 
Some of the descent is the platform for the ascending. Amen and amen. And yet, Bribiara, we must say, oh, come from no. And the chair say, oh, bra ati usubu. It do Bribia. Oh, bra ati usubu na me nyango po wa yedei. Et mi e pejao. May the Lord lift you from the lower parts, and may you ascend and be seated with Christ in the high places in the mighty name of Jesus. He that ascended is the same that descended. To us, verse 10. And he, he that descended is the same also that ascended up far above all heavens that he might fill all things. Jesus wants to fill all things. And because Jesus wants to fill all things, he began to do something. He gave gifts unto men. He gave gifts unto men. Every one of us has a spiritual gift. You cannot hide your gift. Not all of us are apostles. Not all of us are prophets. Not all of us are evangelists. Not all of us are teachers. Not all of us are pastors. But every one of us has one of these. Amen and amen. I may be an apostle, but I want to show you a teacher. You may be a great teacher, but you are not a great pastor. Listen, and yeni penina, and yeni penina, any wood guy wabo tree. It takes an extra grace to be a pastor. Amen. It takes an extra grace. Listen, in recent times, I, I thought I wasn't a pastor, but in recent times, I found out, say, in fact, I am a pastor. I'm a shepherd. You get to the point. I'm a shepherd. I, I just came to believe it that I'm a pastor. That's all. I'm a pastor. I have the heart of a pastor. I have the character of a pastor. I have the nature of a pastor. Where as I minister to the people, I, I just care about every area of their lives. Glory to God. Glory to God. Let, let's read on. Let's read on. But the ain'tin awamaya chedye for the perfecting of the saints. Oh, glory to God. For the perfecting of the seeds. Ye mu bi wawa. Ye wa techere ma. Ye timide tinit ni u nipa. E mu nipa ni bumf. U nipa ni u ane was hadon. Not everybody has that grace. To perfect people. There are some people. When they correct you. You never like it. But there are others. When they correct you. You are able to just receive the correction. Sometimes even the correction is nice. They have a way of saying it. That you. Maybe you have that grace. Don't bury it. Use it for the work of ministry. Every one of us may have a gift that can set in a certain aspect of ministry. Am I preaching to you? For the edifying of the body of Christ. There are people who know how to edify. There are people who know how to strengthen. There are some people, when you have trouble, you have to look for them and talk to them. They have the word. I mean, omwanone kasa can sustain your heart. They say one word and your problem begins to reduce in size. Sometimes you go with them with a the problem and when you think it's a big problem, after they, they talk about the problem, you just begin to feel like this is no big problem like I thought it was. The Lord give us such gifts even as we work in the church in the mighty name of Jesus. I said in the mighty name of Jesus. If we say, say, and there are cunning men with slight cunningness who are lying in wait to deceive. Glory to God. As Yebepon said, there is a man, there is a woman lying in wait. Looking for someone to deceive. They can say, it must take my teaching to awaken the church so that cunning men cannot deceive anybody who attended the service. May the Lord give us gifts that will cause us to mature in the name of Jesus. 
If we don't keep preaching the gospel, I tell you, we shall be destroyed by the slight of cunning men who lie in wait to deceive. There are cunning men, they are, they, are, they are crafty men who are lying in wait to deceive you. Amen. But may the truth bring you light that you will never be deceived in the name of Jesus. I pray that you are going to walk in the newness of life and in the character of Christ. You are not going to lose what you have in the name of Jesus. As a the Lord will be with you. The Lord will sustain you. The Lord will cause you to ride on high places in the name of Jesus. I pray for you today that nothing shall be impossible unto you in the name of Jesus. If you say, Radis and Yemen, I'm a share, who free a dear net, I call fee and would it to me, and they free a dear genetuo, and in Shemu Piara, yes, Shemua, and your Radin as a share, and your Judy to go, and we yes, should dinimo. We quash every confederacy every conspiracy every gathering together of the wicked against your life we smash it now in the name of jesus may the lord cause you never to be deceived any man lying in way to deceive you shall never succeed at it in the name of jesus you are going to mature and never remain a child you will not be deceived in the mighty name of jesus May the Lord help you. Say amen to that. Lift up your two and say, may the Lord help me. May the Lord help me. Glory to God. Glory to God. May the Lord help me. Onya me mwa me. Onyi mi mfri ati modem fwonsem. Onyi mi mfri abbey fwonsem. Onyi mi mfri merembon samsem. Onwa safura di nanka san kosu non sra me ngo. Onwa me na minti minye mi suban yi. Asafura di nchire mi suban pa. Akwan tempo na me nante su. Onya mi nyi mi mfri a mi mfu etri modem sem. Asi wo yesu dini mu. Asafura di nyi e mfri ya re dompe tu wo. Eni mgwa siye tu mi biara. Dia ya in the name of Jesus I speak over your life as you go to bed tonight the Lord shall be with you I said the Lord shall be with you he shall be your strength May he anoint you with fresh oil. I said, may he anoint you with fresh oil. Your horn may he exalt as that of the unicorn in the name of Jesus. Receive your testimony in the name of Jesus. In these 31 days, as we step out to win souls, may the breakthroughs that were promised descend upon us. May you take your breakthrough in the name of Jesus. I said in the name of Jesus, the 10 major breakthroughs are coming. Your healing is part of it. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Your new job is part of it. Your promotion is part of it. Your salary raise is part of the breakthroughs. I declare it over your life in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Even as we step out to win souls and to plant churches, may miracles break forth on every side. As we go out on Saturday, may men be added to our church. May there be miracles uh, as we declare the gospel in the open air. May there be healings. Uh, may there be deliverances uh, in the name of Jesus. Be on your feet and begin to pray. Sorry, get on eyes. Shasiana Vampire, glory to God. Makapa, la baba. Anda, la baba, baba. Kora, baba, baba.